It's almost time for state insurance exchanges and healthcare.gov to open for business for the fourth time. Will you be ready? Open enrollment describes the window in which you can sign up for or change your health insurance. If your health insurance is provided by your company, they set that window. But if you get Obamacare, that window is between November 1st, 2016 and January 31st, 2017. Don't buy it in that three month window. You might not be able to get it at all and it's required by law for lots of people. And that leads me to the next must know. What happens if you don't get it? In tax year 2016, the penalty for non-compliance is the greater of 2.5% of your adjusted gross income or $695 per adult and $347.50 per child. That is capped at two grand. It's going to be the same in 2017 and beyond with adjustments for inflation. Third thing to know, where to get it. If you're eligible for insurance under the Affordable Care Act, just go to healthcare.gov. If your state has its own exchange, healthcare.gov will steer you there. And finally, whether you're happy with your existing plan or not, you should shop on the exchanges. Compare prices and deductibles. If you can find a better deal or one that better meets your needs, now's the time to switch. This year, you might find prices higher and you might find fewer companies participating in Obamacare. So it's getting a little bit more challenging. Also be aware of narrow networks. That means there's not that many doctors or hospitals that you can go to. So be aware of these things when you shop. Bottom line, the penalty for not having health insurance is topping out this year. If you're required to have it, don't get caught flat-footed. Get ready by reading more about it. Go to moneytalksnews.com and just do a search for Obamacare. For Money Talks News, I'm Stacy Johnson.